Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on a new episode of Gyaku Ten Saiban Sano Shinji to Igiari, or you could just call it Ace Attorney now. Um, th which is on episode 9. This episode right here, um, one thing for sure, like, Karma Go, or whatever his name is, I'm Karma Go, that's for sure. He is, he is a pretty tough prosecutor from here on out, but from what I heard, like, um, he, ne from what I heard or rumored into the anime, of the story or something he's known to be one of the undefeated people out there so if anything else um let's just get this started okay at the beginning of the episode we have to it that um Naruhodo and Mayoi chan are like um at the court and getting ready to like go head to head with them apparently like um karma ghost says his disappointments to mitsugudi reiji seeing that the person he raised as a son that he as a prosecutor, has to become a criminal. And therefore, when they started the trial, we have to it that it all starts off with like, um, one of the police officers, of course, like, um, forgot the guy's name since I don't focus on him as often. I think the guy has to be known as Keisuke, I believe. One of them, like, comedic detectives, if anything. <laughs> After that, we have to it that Keisuke did mention about Mitsugi Reiji using the gun on his right hand of his with his fingerprints on his right hand apparently and I just go like okay so that's one thing to keep in that to keep in mind about in a certain sense but we have to it that um that after that we have to it that the photo is shot by the afro girl well I don't know what her name is but one thing for sure she did is play somewhat of a pivotal role towards the end of the episode which I'll get to that after getting through a little bit of the trial which I'll do the best I can to give out certain details here and there. Apparently after much like um going through this evidence including a photo along with like um what she has been doing about going after this Gurdy thing, whatever it's called, apparently, which she was having her, um, how you, mo how you say it, camera, like him to take a shot the moment it hears a giant bang. Apparently, she says that she also has an enlarged photo eventually, you know, but what makes it ugly is that, um, my old child did try to come out in into the defense, apparently, but has her butt, like, um, kicked out of court and possibly getting like um put into like a cell possibly but gets bailed out later by Mitsugi Reiji a little ahead spoiler ahead but eventually we have to it that um that the photo that they showed especially even so like um what shows a certain contradiction possibly the first one that Naruto mentioned you know which he says like um the photo we we knew if we if Mitsugi Reiji did put his hand right hand on the gun, then this photo is contradicting because the guy literally has the gun on his left hand, not his right hand. So that's no other good proof right there, which is a little more contradicting. And they manages manages to suspend the trial a little bit further after like um what's been happening lately. Eventually, it is held off to the next day. As we know, Keisuke, on the other hand, went back to the place just to use his metal detector and let Mayoi chan borrow it eventually. And of course, like um, after bailing Mayoi chan out, you know, yada yada yada, we have to it that the mysterious Gertie was cr none other mistakenly created by Yahari Masa Masashi, you know? That guy, like, um, from the first episode, if anything, um, in other words, Naruto's friend. He apparently says, like, um, he wanted to, like, def pump up a balloon, but eventually we have to it that it went boom because, like, um, he accidentally took out the lid, <laughs> or should I say the screwdriver to stop the air or helium, which is really, really ridiculous, honestly. And after what happened, it looks like all that was just rumored to be fake, or just like because of the steel, the freaking steel samurai inflated balloon. Eventually, the woman decides to give up her like um, thing after figuring out what's the true thing, and we have to it that um 
How am I supposed to say it? Sorry, I'm, I'm like um, stuttering and forgetting something right now. Um, we have to it that eventually that the woman decides to give out one more photo and says like um, the old man called the cops and not me, you know? They just put me because they think I'm much more of a worthy aspect. And towards the end of the episode, we have to it that the old man like um, talked to his parrot and it seems like it may be obvious that he's one of the victims or possibly those kinds of people that set up the thing to get Mizugi Reiji um, into trouble. But, in other words, framing him, you know? Anyways, um, episode came out alright, you know? Despite some certain comedic scenes, which kind of bothers me a bit because when it comes to court sessions, it's always like freaking serious here and there. But... It is what it is. Anyways, um, not too bad with the episode. Next episode, I think, is supposed to be the possible final trial, but I don't know about that, honestly. But we'll have to figure out. We'll have to find out next week or so. Until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. So, I'm off as Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. Toot-toot-toot.